Hello everybody! In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know to fully customize your very own Valheim Plus server. An exploration, wonderful cooperative masterpiece, well that's what Valheim has to offer you, if you care about that kind of thing. I'll show you where to access your configuration file and explain all of the different settings that you can change so that you can maximize the experience of your players on your Valheim Plus server. What you're gonna find in a Valheim playthrough is that the less clicking, the better. Valheim can have a lot of clicking and reducing it is gonna make your life more enjoyable. Disabling weather damage to your structures is going to make them maintain that pretty look. They can still be destroyed by monsters, it just makes your buildings look more pleasing. I recommend disabling the setting, just cause building stuff is so fun in Valheim. Enabling a repair radius will save you time clicking on things individually when your buildings do take damage, and one click will heal all of the adjacent units to it. You can also customize how big that radius is. This is a good quality of life change that reduces clicking. Increasing your camera view distance while sailing is going to make your sailing experience more enjoyable. You can see that this is about as far as you can look out normally, and when you get on a boat, it gets a little bit bigger, but through customizing these settings, you can become a true strategic sailor while the rest of your Viking buddies keep you safe. You can't even see them as they're on the ship, shooting the serpent. Great stuff. I personally recommend really increasing the amount of experience you get from actions to level your skills faster, and also increasing the death penalty from 5% to 10%. Now, I don't know about you, but I died a lot in my first 200 hours of playing Valheim. The average player is going to die a lot. And the higher your skill is with a given weapon, the more damage that you're gonna do with it. You're gonna be able to level your damage up pretty quickly. So you're gonna find that instead of going out and fighting stuff straight away, it's actually in your best interest to train and practice on one another. You can have a nice balance of maintaining your stats and being scared of death. As for the fermenters, the only thing I actually recommend changing is the amount of potions they make. It's just awesome! I mean, I love doing that! It's just like, yeah, look, you can do it to multiple ones, and then boom! Ten potions! Boom! Ten potions! As far as the going into chess goes, I actually don't like using that, because... I mean, that's just fun. Like, like, it's just, it's fun. Just look, oh no, cork all the taps, and then just, just boom! It, it, it's awesome! Why would you want that to be automatic? Valheim Plus allows you to eliminate the need to refuel torches. As you guys know, when you build something awesome, sometimes it can be a lot of time and effort to keep all those torches lit. So you don't have to deal with that. Now you can spend your time doing things that you really, really enjoy. Like watching the rain stop and the sun come out. Oh, this game. Items such as kills, furnaces, and forges, these all play an important role. Because in Valheim, you are supposed to go off and have epic adventures. And if you're going to be here doing this all day, you're not going to go out and have your epic adventure. And what you really want are settings that promote this back and forth of leaving the base and exploring the world and then coming home with resources to improve upon the base. This is the cycle that will maximize the enjoyment out of Valheim. Making the game a lot harder is going to increase that epic feel that Valheim has to offer. Now let's see, if he hits me in the face, I take half my health. This is one regular Grey Dwarf, not a Grey Ling. And that rock, if that rock hit me, it could kill me. Valheim is only about 50-60% done. The plains is the last developed biome, so the Valheim map can go all the way east or all the way west, 
and you're not going to encounter huge amounts of undeveloped biome. But if you go all the way north or all the way south, you will encounter large amounts of undeveloped biome. And it makes the game feel more empty. We want to make sure that most of the gameplay for our players is happening within these first three biomes because if they progress too quickly through the tiers they get to the unfinished part of the game and see the emptiness valheim is best experienced as cooperative gameplay you will get ganked not just by mosquitoes, but by gray dwarfs, by boar, by everything. You must build a base. You must work together. I highly encourage you to disable portals using Valheim Plus. If you are purely interested in building, well then, you probably shouldn't disable portals. But if what you really want is to have an adventurous, fun time where there's a feeling of risk if you use portals too much it decreases the fear of the game it decreases the 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 epic feeling that this game has to offer and portals are going to get in the way of all of that increasing the drop rates of certain material, but not all material. For example, regular wood and stone, you should be able to get a lot of it pretty easily because it allows you to build things more easily while you still have to have the adventure of acquiring it and transporting it. However, with specialty woods, such as fine wood or core wood, I recommend keeping those drop rates the same. This is because you need incentive to go out and explore the world and gather things. And fine wood and core wood usually isn't used in such extreme quantities as regular wood. Increasing the gathering and pickables is also going to make your life a little bit easier if you are feeling like playing on a hard increased difficulty kind of Valheim like Valheim Plus has to offer. Another thing to consider is changing the armor balance. The way the base game works, a lot of players just use helmets, and they don't use chests or leg pieces. This is because chests and leg each decrease your running speed, and they give you the same amount of armor bonus as a helmet. And I don't think this was intended by the Valheim developers. So I believe that you should increase the armor of the chest and legs by two or three times. This will offset the fact that they make you slower. And especially on a server that is made more difficult, this setting will allow you to progress through that difficulty more smoothly. One of my favorite settings that Valheim Plus enables you to customize is your exploration radius. Increasing your exploration radius is going to enable you to scout more effectively. As you can see, there's a mountain here and it's marked on my map without me having to make my own marker. And if you play Valheim as is, what you often find is you see stuff off in the distance, you mark it on your map, but it's just more immersive if what you see is what the map shows. And if you can see a mountain off in the distance, it should show you the edge of that mountain. I can just barely see that little island there. This setting makes planting a lot easier because you can just click and move your mouse around and as you can see, you won't be able to plant things if they're too close to each other. This is great because typically you just plant them, waste the seed, and it makes, you have to take your time and be more tedious. Whereas here, I can just spam click and then get it done pretty quickly and have filled that space with a reasonable amount of carrots. Look at that. Because of Valheim Plus, you can see that I can just keep placing these next to each other and it won't even let me place them. 
See? Because they're too close to each other. The normal game will allow you to plant them, and then they will just die and you will lose the crop. You should consider making a couple changes to the stamina section. Specifically, the stamina drains of certain activities, such as being overweight, running, sneaking in particular, and also swimming and stamina usage values. I recommend changing the stamina usage system so that in general you just have more stamina. This coupled with increased enemy difficulty makes the game feel more dynamic and fluid. Automatic repair. This is incredibly great because when I was doing my original Valheim playthrough, I just found that there were times where I would forget, whereas now I don't have to rely on my feasley memory to click this repair button. It just automatically does it for you. Increasing the carry weight of your cart. Believe it or not, some of the most fun to be had in Valheim consists of transporting material. This means that making paths for your cart, transportation networks of boats and docks, the transportation of all the material wealth you acquire with your Viking buddies in Valheim, all of this is what makes some of the funnest experiences you can have, transporting valuable goods. So making the cart more useful helps facilitate this. So I encourage you to make it bigger and also to decrease the relative weight. You can see the stats on the screen now. This is going to mean that the cart gets less heavy. In original Valheim, if you put in five stacks of stone, you're barely gonna be able to move that mofo. But now you can put in a full cart of stone and it's gonna be heavy and slow, but it's possible and you can get it up a bit of an incline like a staircase. There's a series of changes that I've made using Valheim Plus to minimize these frustrations. One of them is increased storage space in general. So you can see that the inventory here is bigger than it is normally, and there is more character weight. And when you get the belt, that also will give an increased bonus. I found that increasing the stack sizes also helps minimize the amount of inventory screen time that you spend, so you can spend more time adventuring and building stuff. Now, there's a number of changes I recommend making to the inventory section, and I'll show you here instead of going over them sporadically like I have with the rest of this video. You basically want to make the inventory space of everything bigger, but still keep the relationships. For example, you should make sure that the smallest boat has the least storage spots compared to the bigger boat. And you should make sure that the smaller chest has the least storage compared to the iron chests. But you can make everything have more and still maintain that balance. And this just reduces inventory management. So I recommend changing things to at least the values here. But really with the kind of inventory management stuff, Anything that leads you to store more stuff in carts and movable objects will directly cause you to have more fun. So you don't need to worry. You can overdo it, make them have too much inventory space, and you're still going to enjoy the game. You can actually go into your settings, as you see here, and you can edit the field of view for first person mode. I personally like having a wider field of view and find that using first person mode allows me to get more immersed. My next favorite feature is the automatic crafting from chest. This is brilliant. It means that you can put a crafting bench near a couple chests and you can craft anything that is in the chests. You don't have to carry around and remember what to put in your inventory and look for crap over and over and over again. You can just make a few dedicated named areas, dump all your stuff in them, and be able to make almost anything you want as long as you have the stuff that you need. And now I'm gonna show you how to set up your very own Valheim Plus server. First, you're going to minimize this video and scroll down and click on the link in the description. 
that will open up this window, which will show you all of the settings. The first thing you're going to need to pick is the location of your server. After that, you have the game server swap section. This is where you determine how many players will be able to connect to your game in any given session. I recommend getting the two gigabyte memory boost. This is because Valheim is going to use around three gigabytes of RAM, so four gigabytes is plenty. Having a 10 game server slot comes with two gigabytes of RAM, so you only need to purchase two additional gigabytes in order to get to the four gigabyte point. And this is the minimum. Now you'll get an overview of the settings you pick, and then you can keep scrolling down. You can make your account, after that, you can pick how you want to pay. Once you click register, your server is available. Once you've set up your account and purchased your game server, you can go to the Zap home cage by clicking this web interface icon. From here, you'll be able to see the IP address for your server. This is how you'll be able to join the server. Next, we only need to find your password. To get that, click on show game server. From here, we're going to navigate down to the settings area. Click on the first settings link. From there, scroll down and you'll find the name of your server. My server name is Gully Games Dig Dog Noodles. And then you'll see the server's password. Mine is Dig Dog Noodle. Now, once you have your server set up, you're gonna log in to Zap Hosting and there's a lot of settings and configuration you're gonna do depending on what kind of experience you want your players to have on your Valheim server. Once you've logged in, this is the home page that you will see. Scroll down and you'll see your game server. Click on the green icon, show game server. This is going to take you to the home page of your Valheim Plus game server. To the left here, you'll see the first information section. If you scroll down under that, you'll see a settings section. We're gonna click on configuration. Now, scroll down for Valheim Plus, all of the settings are contained in this one document. Now, I'm gonna give you an understanding of this document. It's overwhelming, look at it. There's all of this stuff. There's so many different variables to change. There's over a hundred different things for you to learn about and change depending on what you want for your gameplay. The first thing we're gonna talk about is how the config file itself works. You don't need to understand all of the words or each part. I'm just gonna show you the layout before we get into that. Every section has a title, let's say. You can see here that this is the Valheim Plus section. This is the Advanced Building Mode section. This is the Beehive section. This is the Experience section. This is the Camera section, right? Now, in each section, it will always start with change false to true to enable this section. So if you go and you, let's say you wanna make a change to the beehive and you change the amount of honey and you save it, nothing will happen unless you change this first value to true. Every section must be enabled by setting the first value to true. And that's how you edit all of your settings. Now, don't forget to check out my other videos and use my link in the description. Use the link and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. See you next time.